can I, sh shall I try and explain the process? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I, I would love to understand the process. Because okay. when I see milk, like... <laughs> should, we yeah. should we try some yes. of this while we're going on? Yep. Um, I think we might need some glasses if anyone's nearer the glass. That'd be really kind. So it's a wax seal too. Yeah, what, what we have here is a cheddar cheese. And this has been basically what happens is our cups of cheese. Jason has got his cows and the, the milk goes off to the family cheese palm, where the cheese is split into curds and whey. Okay. Now the curds are full of fat, which is what makes this delicious cheddar cheese. We have extremely good milk. Milk has to have a very high fat content to be suitable for doing high quality cheese. So nothing in our milk. They're only for, they live on grass grazed, they're grass grazed, they don't have anything else. You guys have a lot of grass. We have a lot of grass, we don't, it's not even fertilized. So they, so they literally just live on grass grazed. So you have this delicious milk that it comes from. And then, and then what happens is at the cheese plant, the vodka is split into curds and whey. Curds make the cheese, and what's left over is whey. Now, this is just a protein. Okay. Whey is not a protein. Not a protein. Well, whey, whey is actually a number of things, but basically what we do is we get the whey and we, we spin it off, and eventually you end up with a permeate, which is full of lactose. Now, whey doesn't really have much of a commercial value. We tend, it goes into a bit of processing. We like to feed it to our animals as an added kicker because it has sugar in it, but really it has no domestic value. So what's lovely is we're using a product that would almost go to waste so it's like and, turning it into, and turning it into something delicious. So it's which is sustainability there. It's, yeah, it, it, that is it. And when you drink these, when you have these together, you're having the whole milk. Right. You just separate them in a different piece. The so whole milk. Now, um, maybe a good time to try it. I, I love the title. I love it. I like it's really a little of everything between the drink and the so, yeah, I'll try a bit. So, so, so what do I do? Do I put this in my mouth first? Whatever you like. <laughs> whatever you like. Now, while you're eating that, what happens is we, we get we get the we get the whey, and we ferment the whey into a beer, much like you make a whiskey mash or you make any other spirit. And what we use is we use a yeast. Now, all the other drinks, apart from drinks that are made from whey. Um, use, a, use a, a yeast that are made of fructose basically and they use one yeast. That yeast doesn't work in a lactic environment because the pH is a bit lower, it's a bit more acidic, but nature very kindly has come along and given us another yeast that can work in a lactic environment and what it does is we create this beer and this beer ferments really quite quickly up to 2.5 percent. At 2.5 percent the yeast is killed by the alcohol and we have this very weak milky beer which we then distill. Yeah. And it comes out as a glorious 96%. And then we compound it and we recombine it with the milk. And we have our own sort of secret blending process that we do to it. And you end up with a pure milk vodka. And everything in there is from the milk. There's nothing added. It's extremely smooth. It's extremely it's smooth. smooth. That's because there's virtually no mineral content. So there's no hardness. Rather like milk, you know, good malt whiskey, the water is very, very, very soft. Right. And that creaminess that's imparted at the end is because that taste is from the milk. That's the cream, that is the creamy nature of, of, the, of the drink. Now, do you have any specific water that you have to use? Like, I know a lot of, a lot of brands talk about the, the, where they get their water from. Everything from ours comes from the milk. So there's nothing. I can't talk about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there's not, that's, that's it. That's it. 100%. Yeah, it's just pure milk vodka. That's messed up. <laughs> but yeah, you know no. what? That's so great. And yeah. it, and it, I'm confused. <laughs> that's just that. And the, but the and point, it's clear. It's clear, and the point about it is it has the same utility of vodka. For all you vodka lovers, it will make a wonderful martini because the smoothness with the, with the saltiness of, say, a dirty martini, you get this sort of yin and yang, salt and, you know, this sort of sweet and sour thing, again with like a twist, a lemon twist, the citrus zest cutting right. through the smoothness. See not fighting you get this against each other so much. Yeah. So good. Yeah. And plus, a dirty martini, you get to order a dirty cow, which people love bark <laughs> Or a twisted cow, or a, or a dirty hot cow, or what, yeah. you know, you can go on forever. A dirty cow. But it makes, and it makes great skinny cows, and vodka lime and soda is really nice because again, 
there isn't any sugar in it, so you can still taste the, the lovely smoothness of it. Right. Now, for people who are, lactic, uh, 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 are lactose intolerant, the irony of it is that we have it's less than five parts per million lactose in our vodka. Okay. So you'd have to like... Which means... Get you a lot of it? You could, no, it's you totally suitable. It. Well, there, there are other vodkas on the market that actually put lactose and glycerine in their vodka That's to kind of to take, it take out some of the thing from their throat. And the irony is we've got a lot less lactose well, in it than some people who would advertise who, who don't make the vodka right. lactose at all. But that's that's how they make it ultra premium to make it feels more quality because it doesn't have such a mystery. Yeah. Like, yeah. I don't know which I don't yeah. really know who does it and who doesn't do it, but but anyway with ours, there's no lactose in it and it is made hundred percent from milk. And of course because it's made from milk, there is no worry about gluten getting in there. Right. Yeah. Because it never sees any plant the matter right, yeah. at all. There's no grain at all. Now do you what's your stance on putting gluten free on things? Do you not you don't you do that? Like, I, like I've seen a lot of brands put gluten free. We 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 have lactose. put lactose intolerant on our on our brand in England, and we're now we're, we're um, just starting to export into into California. And I've actually realised that I will probably put on a little sticker saying that just because people want to know it. Right, it gives you that edge. Is everybody else kind of doing it? That you do it? Yeah. And then you don't want to be the one. Well, it is lactose free, but you're not. Or no one knows. Or, uh, well, exactly. Free, yeah. Why am I going to get? I need gluten free. I need gluten free. I need that one, and they're not picking yours, even though it fits the same category. I mean, the only thing I would say is, I'm sure they are completely gluten free. The ones that say they are. Oh, yeah. But what's lovely about ours is, ours doesn't have doesn't have any isn't made of any grain, so you know, right. there's no potential no possibility. To, at all. Yeah. It doesn't have like a a, a a little bit, a little alcohol at the end, but it, it doesn't have like a big ethanol flavor to it. Like it's no. not like. No, I think I might have some as well. Could you? Oh, sure. Sure. Thank you.